This is a product available from LMI known as Perflex. It is a flexible, decorative strip that can really dress up an instrument. Let me show you how I install it. To demonstrate how to install this product, I'm going to use just a piece of thick spruce for installation purposes. However, installation on a completed instrument is exactly the same. Before cutting the binding channels on my top, I'm going to thoroughly seal the wood. I'm going to be using shellac flakes that I've mixed myself. You could also use sprayable shellac or any other product that would serve as a seal coat. So for my binding and purfling scheme, I'm going to be using the Perflex with a black white on the inside and a black white on the outside plus a binding. The Perflex is one thickness. The black white purflings that are going to go on either side are just a little bit taller. So when I cut my purfling channels, I'm going to cut it to the depth of the Perflex. So when you cut your binding channels, use your preferred method. I'm going to be using the LMI binding cutting jig. Once your channels are cut, then you want to come in and seal those as well. Also notice on my channel I've cut a stepped channel. The depth of this channel the top channel, the shallow one, is the depth of the thickness of the Perflex. So when you install the Perflex, it's going to be flush with the top. All right, so what I'm going to do is start by placing one of the Perfling strips in my channel. I'm then going to come in with the Perflex. I'm then going to come in with the other Perfling line. And last but not least, come in with my binding. And I'm going to place a piece of tape on that to hold it all in position. So this is what it looks like once it's all taped into place. The next step is to come in and put CA glue in it to hold it in place. So I'm going to put CA glue here in a couple of different steps. I'm going to start by securing the Perflex into place. And to do that, I'm going to lift it up and underneath it place a small bead of medium viscosity CA glue. And then I'm going to put it back down into place, pull it up and tape it up again. So I'm pulling the piece of Perflex out and then rolling my tape back down to kind of hold the purfling and the binding in place. Alright, so I'm going to start with just a very thin bead of medium viscosity CA glue right in the bottom of the Perflex channel. And then I'm going to come in and pull everything back up tight with my tape to hold it in place. Make sure that the Perflex is pushed all the way down and I'm just going to slowly work my way along the channel applying the glue and inserting the Perflex. Once the medium viscosity CA glue is in the bottom of the Perflex channel and the Perflex is glued in place, I then come in with some thin viscosity CA glue and a pipette and wick it into the Perfling line and the binding line to make sure that those are held into place. The next step in the installation process is to come in and fill any voids around the purfling or the purflex and the binding. And what I'm going to use for that is a product called Tempera Powder and z -poxy, which is a two-part epoxy finishing resin. And the mix ratio is about one to one to one. In other words, one part hardener, one part resin, and one part Tempera Powder. 
Now the top of the instrument has been thoroughly sealed and the channels have as well. The next step is to apply the epoxy mixture over the top of the Perflex. So this is what it looks like after it's all painted up with the black epoxy filler. Once the black epoxy has cured, you can come in and scrape the epoxy, the bindings, and the perfling flush down with the top and the perflex. You can use a utility knife blade or scraper to do that. You can also come in and with some sandpaper, sand it flush. You can do this by hand or with a power sander. If you use a power sander, be careful to not get too aggressive and go through everything. And when you're finished scraping, here's what the final product looks like.